One very effective way at drawing uh, hearers into the sermon is through story. That includes both and primarily the biblical story to help people claim the story as their own, but it also includes telling the stories of the day, whether the stories of what's going on in the world, whether the stories of what's going on in the community, or whether the stories that, that are part of your own life journey. That last one always cuts two ways. On the one hand, the preacher is able to be very vulnerable and very personable in the telling of his or her or sharing elements of his or her own story in the pulpit. And there's a way in which it allows the preacher you know, in a pulpit to come down a little bit, to be more accessible, and it allows the kind of the ordinary Christian that we often think of ourselves when we're sitting in the pew to relate to the spiritual leader. And so it can be really valuable. The key, of course, is that it never displaces the biblical story. Our preaching doesn't become a primarily about us. But also that the story finally, its purpose, the personal story's purpose, is to illumine the biblical story or the biblical theme or the message of grace, finally, that we're trying to offer. So that when people come out of the sermon after church, they don't ask you, are you okay? I mean, that sounded like it was a really difficult time for you. You know, if that's the response, or boy, that was a great story. I just, boy, can I talk more about, to you about your life? If that's the response, then you miss the mark a little, <laughs> a little bit. But rather that the, the human story, whether it's mine or someone else's, um, illumines or makes manifest God's story and that message of grace. And when we keep our, our sense that that's what it's about, then personal story can be really, really valuable. As can stories from plays or television or movies. All of them have the capacity to illumine the heart of the gospel message we're offering. But that's the key, that they're all pointers, that they're all reflecting back to the primary claim the preacher's trying to make about what God is up to and how is God healing, helping, redeeming, saving, sustaining God's people in and through the sermon and, and the Word.